All right, Shalom. This is Brother Rock back with another spiritual exercise through the Spirit and Power. Yahweh by Shimi Shai by Shuma Kakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at GMS who continue to teach and rule well. And peace and salutation to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out his truth and truth and sincerity and putting their life on the line to do so. In this edition of Spiritual Exercise, I'm going to go into 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, all right, about being sober and, sober, sober and vigilant, okay? Now, as always, you know, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. I'm going to, uh, you know, just pull one scripture and then uh, go into an article that I was reading that has some pretty good points in it, all right? Now, this is 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. It says, be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, okay, an adversary is just your enemy, okay, an opposing force, all right, your opponent, says the devil, okay, and, and which that word devil just means deceiver, okay, and who's the deceiver, who's the ultimate deceiver, should I say, all right, Esau, the so-called white man, all right, that's your adversary, you got to know that, all right, to be sober and to be vigilant. You have to know who you're being sober and vigilant towards, okay? You got to know who you're watching and who you're looking out for, all right? It says, as a roaring lion walks about, seek him whom he may devour, all right? Now, the scriptures compare, you know, the devil to a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour, all right? And if you're familiar with, way, with the way the lion hunts, okay, it's very... Um, it's very sneaky, okay? It camouflages in, in, in high grass. It waits on the perfect time to strike, you know? And that's how this devil is, man, all right? He, he's very tricky and, and and sly, okay, and subtle. That's why the scriptures also, you know, uh, compare him to a serpent, okay, or a snake, all right? He's very slithery and smooth and and uh, very indirect with with, with his bullshit, okay? Now, I was reading this article about, you know, the characteristics of, of lions, you know, the way they hunt. First point I want to bring out is in this paragraph here, it says, there are, however, two things that help the lion considerably. The first, incredible, first they're incredibly good at hiding and phenomenally patient. All right, and that's the way this devil is. It says, secondly, the antelopes, while physically fast, are mentally not quite so uh, sprightly and pay perhaps and pay perhaps too little attention to learning from their mistakes. All right, and that's why the scriptures tell you to be sober and, and to be vigilant. All right, you don't want to be an antelope. All right, when it comes to a lion seeking their prey. Right, because it says the antelope uh, is not mentally equipped, okay, when it comes to being sober and vigilant towards the lion, okay, which the scriptures compare the devil to. It says uh, they perhaps pay little attention to detail, all right, and learn from their mistakes. If you're paying little attention to detail, all right, that's not being sober and that's not being vigilant, which the scriptures tell you to be. OK, so you don't want to be the antelope. OK, when it comes to the so-called white man. And there was another point I wanted to point out in this article, too, as well, that, that you know, drives my point. It says, in general, however, memory loss aside, prey animals are most afraid of lions when they can't be seen. OK, so if you're not being sober and vigilant, you won't see the prey. I mean, you're going to see the enemy, okay, or, or that lion that the scriptures compared this devil to, okay? It says, as a result, when a lion does appear, they all stare at it. So as long as they can see it, and it knows that they can see it, everybody's safe, right? And that's being sober, and that's being vigilant, okay? When you spot this devil from a mile away, and you can see, you know, you know, and, and he also works together with the spiritual demon Satan. All right. You can just see, you know, you can you can see uh, bullshit coming from a mile away when you have that, you know, when you have the spirit of your how about shit, how shot on you. Right. 
you can you can say it, it man you know just reroute man and take another take another uh route when you see bullshit ahead of you okay that's being vigilant that's being sober all right so you know didn't want to make this spiritual exercise too long you know but as always lord willing it was edifying and until next time I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Rukar, Kodash, double honors to the elders and apostles at GMS, and peace and safety to the Akim that's pushing out his truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.